Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So as a part of my 1000 series, I wanted to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, so welcome to none other than loot from 1000 Wallasakis. Now if you're asking yourself what in the world is a Wallasaki, well I'm glad you asked. I don't actually know if that's how you pronounce the name, uh, I'm assuming it is, it's either, you know, Wallasaki or maybe wall wall socky something like that but it's like a seal slash walrus monster it's a very adorable creature you know it's almost like you want to have like a stuffed animal wallasaki almost you know i wish it dropped a pet or something like that but it is what it is so i wanted to kill these things for a thousand times and uh, i was tracking it essentially through the range xp uh you know every kill of a wallasaki is 500 range xp um in order to get there you know like i mentioned before it's very simple you just run through the uh, simple route that you take to get to the dagnath kings there's there's three rooms for these Wallasakis. There's this one, there's one upstairs, and then there's one uh, downstairs after you go up a ladder. And essentially there's a spawn of two, four, and five. And I killed the room with four because the fifth, uh, the, the room with five is just annoying placements with the ladders. So yeah, my character was always running in odd locations. So I just stuck with this room. And as it goes for my method of killing them, I just stuck with a blowpipe and Addy darts. You know, nothing too expensive and nothing too crazy. You can bring a can in here. As a matter of fact, if you look up these things, the guide will say a good tactic of killing these lovely Wallasakis is using a cannon and also using a friend. But you know, I don't think many people are doing that these days. So as it goes for the drops, um, you know, the untradeable ones really just looking at med clues and the tradable ones, you know, as it goes for like what's what's uh, better than a common drop, uh, you're looking at skeletal gloves, skeletal boots, and uh, some bone pieces. Now I'll get into the bone pieces a little bit later on in the video. And as always, shout out to the Iron Man account. I was killing blue dragons with the Dorgish and crossbow on that account uh, throughout the whole making of this video. So nice to get uh, two things done at once, but yeah, back to the drops on the Wallalaskis. So if you'll see in the first two inventory spots, um, I did manage to keep all of the runes and the pure S, and I didn't bank it the whole time. Um, I was just banking the drops that weren't stackable. And yeah, I mean, from start to finish, you can see the amounts of those runes really not go up that significantly. So if you ever decide to kill these things for whatever reason, uh, my advice is don't pick up the runes, you know, unless you're like an Iron Man or unless you've really valued deaths and bloods, and I mean, very, very small amounts of them, maybe like two or four every kill uh, that you do receive them as a drop, um, then I guess it's worth picking up, but all honesty, I don't think any rune is worth picking up here. And I mainly say that because they just don't get, you know, to a very high amount over time. I honestly think it's smarter just to bring an extra, extra uh, potion, maybe just save an extra inventory slot for another drop. But since this is a loot video, when I kill a thousand of whatever it is that I'm going to be killing, I want to pick up most of everything because that's kind of a good indication of every aspect that you can get from the monster and you get a really accurate presentation of pretty much the 1000 drops. So I did not pick up the earth runes though, I just didn't have the inventory space and I looked at the water rune count and you know, it wouldn't have been like more than 100 or 200 anyway, so it's just a couple thousand GP. Uh, they are known to drop talismans, so you know, a lot of monsters in this cave, including Dagnath Kings, drop talismans. I'm not too sure why, but um, yeah, they drop a lot of talismans. They're not really worth much, so I didn't pick those up until I had the inventory space, if I had the inventory space. And on the guide, it also says that there's very common drops such as uh, herbs and seeds, but I gotta be honest with you, I only got two seed drops in a thousand kills, and I'm pretty sure it was a toad flax seed. So yeah, it really confused me when I saw that. And also the herbs were very low count as well. I believe it was only low valued herbs the whole time, which I used the herb sack for. And I only got, you know, just a few of them. So it was really odd to see that. Now, as it goes for the um, skull pieces, I did mention that I'll get into that a little bit later on. So yeah, there's three different drops that you can get from these Wallasakis that you can essentially turn into something else. So if you get a skull piece, uh, what you want to do is bring 5k and a Dagnath hide to Peer the Seer and Relica, and with that skull piece, he will transform it into a skeletal helm if you want. Uh, with a tibula, or sorry, with a fibula piece, you can bring that to Peer the Seer with two Dagnath hides and 7,500 coins, and he will transform it into skeletal legs. And of course, with the ribcage piece, pretty much the same thing. Uh, and he'll transform it into a skeletal top. Now, the downside is a skeletal top right now is about 27k, and the ribcage piece to make it is about 55k. 
right? So I don't really need to explain that there's no purpose to do that. I guess Dagoneth Kings kind of crashed the price of skeletal tops and spined and uh, all that good stuff, which is understandable. So in my opinion, I would say if you ever want to make a skeletal helmet from getting the skull piece here, it'd probably be worth doing, but don't bother with the top or the bottom. Uh, really just go for the gloves and the boots. And you know what I find fascinating? You know, even though skeletal top and bottom are pretty much completely worthless, uh, they still value the boots and the gloves to be so much, which is amazing because I've never seen anyone in this whole entire time of playing RuneScape wear a set of full skeletal, let alone skeletal gloves. I don't think I've ever seen that. So to see such a low tier uh, magic item worth, you know, 120k, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, there's no way that this was going to sell for 120k. So I mean, I was, I was coming into this video, I knew that it wasn't going to be what it seemed to be. But at the same time, I was curious just to see how much they would sell for and also just to see how much I would get as it goes for the amount of them, which, you know, the boots I was getting back to back to back, uh, the gloves I was getting very commonly, and uh, there was really only one inventory that was a, a, a strong dry streak of not really receiving much at all. Uh, yeah, it really did add up over time, the, the bone count, and this was really unique to do. You know, I've never killed a monster like this before. Uh, matter of fact, I've never even done Rag and Bone Man on this account, so this was like the very first uh, time I've ever done anything like this related to like uh, pieces of things or um, you know something that I've just never killed before so yeah there you go there was the finish uh, five pretty much 500k range XP 1,000 kills later and the last kill of the video I actually got skeletal gloves so there you go nice way to end uh, overall we got 26 skeletal gloves we got 20 skeletal boots 16 ribcage pieces 16 fibula pieces and 15 skull pieces pretty good drop rate on everything in my opinion as you can see from the normal drops you know a decent amount of runes like I did mention before they didn't add up to what I wanted to, uh, wanted them to be at but it was still worth picking up 374 K total from all of those small tier herbs and a uh, small amount of runes and pure s now as it goes for the bone pieces coming into this video I did not expect to see even one mil, let alone what you're about to see from these lovely Wallasakis, but uh, they did not disappoint, and I gotta say, they are number one on my new favorite monster list. Here you guys go, 1.8 mil just in bones, 1.8 mil just in boots, and 3.1 mil just in gloves. So there you go, it took less than six hours to do, and we made about seven mil, so these new Wallasakis confirmed one mil GP an hour. It's absolutely insane. And it'd be more insane if it was actually true, because it's definitely not. Let's go actually sell this for what it's really worth, and you guys will see what the real amount is. Because, man, I gotta be honest with you guys, I was kind of excited too, you know? But, nah, not in a million years. So, as you guys can see here with the real price, the skull piece sold for about 45k. Uh, all the other bones, the fibula pieces, and the ribcage pieces, absolutely worthless. I think I got, like, a couple thousand GP for each of them. The skeletal gloves, as you can see, did not even sell for 40k. So, so as I was demotivated, I tried to put the skeletal boots in for 28k from a 92k original price, and they actually sold for 55k, so that's pretty good. Um, now as it goes for the gloves, I did sell them all off for 20,000 GP each from an initial point of 120,000. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Now, am I to be wrong to say if I left them in the Grand Exchange for two weeks, they wouldn't sell for 120k each? I don't know, maybe they would have, and maybe I would have made more from killing 1,000 of these Wallasakis, but... But I didn't really want to wait that long, so also want to put out there, Dagnith Hide, something that you have to buy in order to create Skeletal, uh, was not buying for 5k over price, so something to look at. Maybe Dagnith Hide's the future, who knows. As it goes for how much did we make from 1,000 Wallasaki, overall 2.4 mil just from everything that I sold, and you know, I couldn't sell the rest of the skull pieces, but I just figured that they are pretty accurate with the price, so about 2.5 to 3 mil from 1,000 Wallasaki. Asakis, and uh, I really did enjoy the experience. It was a very, very weird one, but man, it was it was definitely worth the time. Um, obviously, I didn't make money throughout this. You know, I lost more on supplies, but at least we all know what Wallasakis drop now, and uh, that was the purpose of the video. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any suggestions below for what you want to see me kill next, feel free to leave one. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.